Hey, welcome back everybody. It's your boy Joe Lotto. Oh, snap. And today we're going to be playing some more L.A. Noir. You hear about Adrian? No, Across I didn't. Seattle threw him out. Wife if you're not subscribed to the back. channel already, women generally show more compassion. You know, what are you talking help me about? out by Adrian subscribing. On That's all I ask. Secretary. Margaret and let's just go. Pride. pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. I'm talking from experience. What are we supposed to be doing here? You trying to fight me, punk? Maybe it's across the street. Why is there so much traffic? Oh yeah, this is probably the place. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. Oh, really? Let me see what I can find up in here. Up in here. Up in here. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Good. Good call, man. It wasn't freaking rocket science. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Huh. Very odd. What? Where's the little clue over here? Oh. Empty. It's not empty, dude. There's a box right there. Whatever. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Huh. I'm a good cop this biatch. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. I want to see what this does. Oh, uh, ask the community, huh? 99.4 let's ask the community bad cop it is you went out to the car once they were gone you had to take a look for yourself i was curious ain't a law against that so what if i took a look around that car you can't be accusing me of nothing i mean i can tell me about the car they were driving it was an old ford i didn't catch the license number uh, let's bad cop it up. You gonna tell me what I want to know, or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, you son of a bitch. Oh, okay, should have done. What good exactly cop. did you see them take? 
They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Did you see them take anything else? Nope, I don't think so. That's enough for now. Remember, Jacob, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Yes, sir. Wonder if I can swing at him. Nah. We keep all our tools in here. Might as well look around. Missing just one. Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Uh, that's like way too big. I'm gonna put it on there anyway. Okay, then we'll grab this son of a bitch. Put that there. I remember the thing, I think it was blue. I don't quite remember, but I thought the little thing was blue. Okay, you're three fours. Okay, that's not right. Not three fours. One left. Actually, there's another one missing, but you know. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Gabriel Digato. A bato. Is it bato or vato? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Hopefully it's not offensive. If you don't mind, is. we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. It's a little suspicious to me. Let's bad cop this shit. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Seems uh, reasonable. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. I believe he's being sincere. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Why would we go to the empty lot when we can go to this dude's apartment? You know what I'm saying? Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Is 
this a community thing? I don't know. Ooh, it's a missing license plate. Diplomatic awesome. license plates. All right. Let's pick up this one just cause. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Well, you just look it up on the internet, sir. Unless you don't have the internet. I don't know. Yeah, it's a file. No good to me. Then why'd you pick it up? A hammer. No good to me. Doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, of course it doesn't, you stupid cop. Not much help. Then why is it telling me it's a freaking clue? Ooh, wheels. He did it. He did it, he did it, he did it. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. I'm about to uh, solve another case. All right, Miss uh, Rodriguez. You really ought to take more time over the Packard belts. Let's head back to the empty lot. Oh, let me talk to her. She knows so something. So what next? If Gabriel isn't here, we need to make this case without him. Look around, find something concrete. I already did. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Liar. Because of the breakfast. Anna, do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. Okay. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Let's bad cop it up. Gabriel's been in trouble before. He left you here alone to answer for him, and you expect me to believe that his motive was honor? Please don't yell at me. I've done nothing wrong. One of two, correct. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Should I accuse? We'll be good cop. You want him home as much as we do, Anna. Tell us where we can find him. You pretend to be concerned for me. But you would take him straight from here to a cell. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. If you tell us where he is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos, Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, I mean, it's almost like they knew assistance at first and that it was going to frustrate me because my car's so fucking streets. slow. And these guys are so strong. Stay on Delgado. Get the fuck out of here. Look at that. Very, very nice. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Get away! Oh! Yes. 
Now let's get uh, Mr. Delgado. Gonna lose him. I ain't losing shit. Okay, I might, I might lose something. Alrighty. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Step on him, Phelps. Take him out. Why is my car so slow? That's the question I'm asking. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I know. Damn. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Alrighty, everyone. I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, we have 20 missions left. I'm assuming this one is part of the 20. Um. Looks yeah, like you know, it'd be nice if I could charges. do two missions per and video. Might do time. But everything just seems I'll very speak to the DA. slow. You suffered enough. So I, know, I think Cole. what I'm going to do She's is I'm going to do this mission. The DA likes and if it's I'll cool, convince him to let go. <laughs> then I will uh, How do you do that? tape it for you. I'll give him something better. If it's not cool, then you know I'll see you in the next mission. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section down below. If you are enjoying this series, the game, or me, feel free to smash that like button. 
And as always, show your love and support for the channel by subscribing. Detectives, over here. Now, just so you know, subscribe or not, I do love y'all. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, I hope you guys stay happy, stay healthy, stay, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, stay hydrated, eat, you know, all that good stuff. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until then, peace out.